Here's a quick tip for those that are using their MPCs with the MPC2 software inside Ableton Live, which offers a very useful drag and drop transfer function that enables you to render parts in your MPC as audio, and then you can dump them into Ableton. But a few people have struggled with this, especially with the way the manual explains how to get your sounds out separately and that you should explode your tracks. But exploding can make a real mess of your sequences depending on how your tracks are laid out. And in some instances, it can just fail to work as expected and causes a lot of confusion. Then there's those that suggest you should convert your sequences into songs using the song mode on your MPC and then explode your tracks. But the problem with these methods is they presume your arrangement is final. Whereas I personally prefer to arrange my parts and my song in my audio application as I go. So here's an alternative that I think works quite well, which doesn't involve exploding tracks and doesn't burn through as much data on your storage device. In this clip, I'm using Ableton Live 11.0.2 and MPC software 2.9.1. So assuming you've got a few parts in your MPC that you want to import into Ableton, Find the pad mixer in your MPC or MPC plugin. I'll just tap the pad here on my MPC X just so you can see that my MPC is connected. So if we locate the pad mixer and then solo the pad you'd like to import into Ableton. For this example, I'll choose the kick. And by double clicking on the track name, I can rename the track to kick and doing this will give the imported file an appropriate name. Up to the right, up here, we have this tiny grey export audio icon. If you click this once, you'll see the plugin render the audio, then hold the mouse button down on it and drag the export audio icon over to the Ableton clip areas on any available audio track or empty space. So let's test the imported audio. I'll mute the MPC plugin and we'll need to adjust the warp tempo so that it matches the project tempo. Okay, good, that's looping fine. Now you can return to the MPC plugin and clear the export audio cache by holding down shift and clicking on the export audio icon. And it'll revert to a ghosted gray icon when it's clear and ready to be reloaded again. So then repeat this exercise to get your other sounds imported into Ableton. And so if we run through that quickly again, Jump into the MPC plugin and find your pad mixer. Unsolo the previous pad. Solo the next pad or sound that you want to import. Rename the track, which is entirely optional and up to you. Click the export audio icon once again to render. Then drag the export audio icon onto Ableton's clip area and place it onto the appropriate audio track. Then repeat this process again however many times you need to. Just make sure your export audio cache is clear and ready to take another chunk. Unfortunately you can't just click over it, it needs to be purged by using shift and click. So that's all for this quick tip. I hope that helps your workflow. If so, please give the clip a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more quick tips coming soon. Thanks for watching.